Hello everyone, welcome to episode 11 of Don't Stand Together with Warley. Um, last episode we ran about, got some twigs and stuff. As you can see our, uh, I don't know why that equipped. Our, uh, oh, it equips when you drop it, that's weird. Our grass and twig supply is up again. Um, if you also notice we're wearing the Tam. Um, we didn't actually fight him, but we went up there to check on him and penguins being the MVPs that they are. They uh, killed them for us. We also got a tooth out of it, so we can make, uh, or, or I guess a tusk, so we can make uh, a walking cane. And we can actually make it now, I believe, but here's the thing. Here's a little story I'm going to tell you guys, and I don't know if I should break this habit, or like break this streak, or if I should just do what I've always been doing. Um, but let me find the walking cane first. Actually, we're not even in the right tab. I'm pretty sure it's survival. Um, up, uh, maybe? Is it really tools? Where are you? Or is it dress? No, it's dress. We got the bottom, right here. The walking cane. We can actually make it now. But here's a little story I'm gonna tell you before I do it. So ever since I started, ever since I played Don't Starve, um, and the Tam, and, well, I guess the Tam as well, and the Walking King has been released in-game, I've never actually had to craft the Walking King, like, ever before. And I've used the Walking King, like, a lot, because the Walking King is, like, God tier. But, um, ever since it was released, I've never had to craft it. I've always either found it, or, um, since I spent most of my hours in Don't Starve Together, I've always had a kilo crafted for me. So I've never actually, like, crafted, um, a walking cane with, like, my bare hands, like, actually unlock the recipe. Unless it was, like, you know, via blueprint. But at the same time, like, I've never actually made that. And so, in my single player world, what I've been doing is, whenever I get the walrus tusk, instead of making it, what I do is I take the items that it uses, so for example, two gold, one tusk, and four twigs. I take those items and I basically throw them away. And by that I mean if there's like not an eye plant that I can feed like these items to, I'll go to like a corner, so like probably this one up here. Um, you can't see my mouse, but you see where that boulder is? Right up there in that little corner, I would ditch the items and never touch them ever again. And then I would just spawn in a walking cane because I have over like 200 hours of don't starve and not once have I had to create you know a walking cane so question is should I still do that on you know the actual LP world or should I finally break my streak I don't know I could wait to upload this for you guys but the way I have to do these is that I have to do them all in one big one big session you know so I would have to go like the next couple episodes without having a walking cane even though we can craft it right now but I think as of right now what I'm gonna do is I am going to do it the way that I've always been doing it which is take the items and throw them away and I'm gonna spawn one in alright if for some odd reason people hate the fact that I do that uh, I will go pick up those items, craft it with my bare hands, and physically try and delete the walking cane. So instead of just throwing it, you know, placing the walking cane, you know, at the edge of the world, I will like see if I can have a command to actually, you know, delete it. And we can actually create. What do you call it? Um, runner's helmet. So wait, do we have one already? Before I create, it doesn't look like we have a, a farmer's hat, whatever it's called, straw hat. So let us make this. And that used up my gold over here, so we'll do that. Hooray! We got a miner's helmet. So basically, I'm gonna take these items. So it's four gold or two gold, one tusk, and four twigs. I will show you the recipe again uh, for those who don't believe me. Um, I'm going to take these items, going to go up here, and I am going to basically just leave them up here. 
until we get an eye plant that spawns, um, you know, because the eye plant will actually eat the items and will actually delete them if they uh, if they hold on to the items for too long. So there it is. There's the items. They will stay there forever unless you guys want me to craft it the real way instead of hacking it in. But basically, we want to open up the console. All right, you hit the little, I guess tilde it's called. So you go C underscore spawn, or you can do give. And then I believe it's that, and then you just do a walking cane. That is not the one. I think it's just cane. Uh, C underscore spawn cane. That is not it either. I am dumb, apparently. And now I have the stupid thing on the screen. Hold on. Let me, let me figure this out. C, it's C underscore spawn. Oh, it's not parentheses. It's C underscore spawn. Um, th that's what it is. Is it Kane still? Yeah, there it is. So it's uh, quotations. So basically, I've always done it like this ever since then. Um, you know, with over 200 hours of Don't Starve and like 400 hours of Don't Starve together. You know, I, this is how I've always done it. Or at least single player Don't Starve. So uh, there we go. We have our walking cane now, which is pretty nice. Um, again, we used these items right here. Four twigs, one tusk, and two nuggets to create this walking cane that I spawned in. And I will go down here and show you the recipe again. And, and that's how I've just been doing it. It's just like this little thing I've, you know, always done because I noticed I've never once crafted it because, I, you know, I played this game. Oh, sounds like we have hounds. Or, that voice line means we have hounds. Um, because I played this game, you know, before, you know, the Walking King was a thing, and even when the Walking King did become a thing, I never really crafted it because I was afraid to fight in this game. We we'll use the rest of that. We will pop a meaty stew so that we don't go hungry during this fight. We will actually stay here to fight because with the tentacle spike, we can take them on. Um, as they come one by one. So we'll do that. I will grab another sword. Put that there. Um, leave a stack of wood here. Put that there. We need food. Um, what is the next thing we should eat? I guess we'll eat this. And they are coming. Dodge you. One, two, three. Kite you, and I said kite you, not take you to the base. One, two, three, there we go. And that should be the last. Yep, it is. Took unnecessary damage because I decided to. Oh! <laughs> we got one of these glitch towns. So, I think ever since shipwreck became a thing, um, stuff has been able to spawn outside like this. In my other, uh, single player don't starve world. I actually have like three or four hounds. Basically a full hound attack just got stuck outside. Uh, so yeah, this guy will be here forever. He'll still attack me if I get too close, but he'll never be able to get back on the land. He can be our pet. Um, let's look at the map. It does, so he's on this like little like river bank thing. I think he's stuck, but if we happen to, if we get too close and lead him towards the edge, he might be able to get back into the ocean. But I think we should name this guy. We should keep him as a pet. Away, frozen, diable. Yeah, so we have our very own pet ice hound. And that is our boy, Deerclops. So what we're gonna do is we are going to come over here, make this, we are gonna make this sign. We are gonna run for our life. Because that's, it's, I don't want to be a base. We're gonna jump in here. Wow, just this, this, uh, it's been super eventful for the, this episode's been, uh, super eventful. We're gonna come down here, um, cause this is where we're gonna fight all of our bosses. We will come down here, throw this down, so we can stay warm. And the reason I created this sign is because Deerclops likes to focus structures, so each giant has their own little thing that they do. So for example, when Bearage responds, he likes to go after, uh, 
He likes to go after- what are they called? He likes to go after food, so he'll go to your base, or like if you're near your base, he will raid your refrigerators and your chests for food. Deerclops, on the other hand, he likes to just focus structures in general. Um, I hate it when he spawns at night like this, but we can take- No, 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 no! Alright, we'll do- no, please run. One, two, three, switch. Um, Deerclops likes to focus structures. So he'll just run to your base just to mess things up, and you will die, Chester, if you stay there. Um, you're gonna lose Chester, I feel. I didn't mean to get hit by that, I'm trying to... One, two, three. It's very easy to fight these bosses, and Chester's dead. I saw it coming. Alright, let's take a little breather. One, two, three. I'm very easy, just get into the little motion of things. Um, I'm actually gonna put this there and uh, throw this on. Because now we have stupid shadows after us, because Deerclops' thing is a pain in the butt to deal with. Um, he is almost dead though, 521 HP. Deerclops is the squishiest of them all in terms of giants. We are getting cold because uh, I'm actually gonna throw this Tam on because we're wearing. Chess piece. Might just lead them away a bit so I can uh, get some heat going. This could be bad because um, we have this terror beak on us, but I think if we keep doing what we're doing, we should be fine. We are. We do have the tam on, so we will stay warm for a little bit longer. But this uh, terror beak is going to be an annoyance for us. We also got to be very careful because our uh, log seat's about to break. If I have time, I'll try and put down another uh, thing. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to wait all day. Unless this terror beak wants to despawn, which I think he'd. Nope, nope, he's still on us. So I'm going to have to time this where the terror beak does his little uh, attack thing. Yeah, alright, put this down, test it again, Ooh, there we go. Alright, I'm going to switch to this now, let's take that guy out. Don't want to get attacked by, oh god, there's two terror beaks, are you serious? super annoying to deal with. I really don't want to get hit by these things, but it's the best I can do in this situation until I wait for day. I don't have the torch on me anymore. And I can't see them now, which is very, very amazing. The only thing frustrating about this is that I have these two terror beaks after me. If these guys would just despawn, I could take them on. My phone blinked again. Let's see. Uh, what can I do in this situation? Uh, he's going after the sign, which he can, he can go after it for all I care. We get the board back. The reason why I say make the signs, I don't want him going after those uh, flingos, though. Please! I know what you're going for, don't attack those. If you attack those, I will be upset. Alright, let's throw these down. I'm so mad that he did that. Because those are freaking expensive. It costs like a million things just to make. You need to come after me. Can this terror beak leave me alone already? Alright, the other one despawned. Let's just take this guy out real quick while your cops is still on our screen. I can kite this guy enough. Oh, that was really close. Alright. I'm gonna have to remake those. Alright. Um, before I forget, let's just do this. I don't want to hit twice there because of uh, that dude.
I just want uh, this uh, crawling board to get away. Let's see. What can I do here? I hate how they're synced up because this guy will. Nope. I'm just gonna tank the rest of these hits. That's what I wanted. I don't want this guy hitting me, however. I wanna pick up this eye, though. I don't care about that. Come on. Just die already. Finish you off, because I have no need for you. I will throw on the tan now. Because we need it. Um, give me my backpack. Where are you? Super upset that he went after the the dude. Whatever. Where's my backpack? It's above me. Really mad that he went after those uh, endothermic fire pits because they're freaking expensive to make. But it's kind of what happens. I will throw on the helmet to fight this guy because I don't want to accidentally get hit by him. Because he is... He will one-shot us. Yeah, see? If something like that happens. I don't know what that noise is. It sounds like... Do you fly? Yeah, I don't like it. But it's just the sound of the, these shadows are making. There we go. Alright. We are back to being sane. Not the cleanest fight, because, uh... We got Terabeaks to spawn, which is super annoying, but... Oh well, fight's a fight. We got the drop, that's all that matters. I'm gonna see if I can get this stuff going again. Um, I do want to put this sign back. So the reason why I make the sign is because when the sign gets destroyed, um, it drops a board, and it takes one board to make it, so... Whether the sign gets destroyed or not, you get the board back. And the only reason why I did that was because I didn't want D, D fly not D fly, sorry. Deer clops to go after these things, which are super expensive. And now that you destroy them, destroy both of them, which means I can only make one back in return. Oh, but I do have Ooh, that's right, I do have the other one. I do have one pre-crafted. I don't want to stand so close to that though. So we'll do that. Let's see if we can get these lined up again. I don't want to send so close because I don't want to freeze. Alright, so you get in a line like that and then you just move it as close as you can. As close as you can. That should be fine. So that should work now. Um, upset that he broke it because they're really expensive to make. But again, it is what it is. I'm gonna do this because we need to get warm. And I didn't mean to do that, which is gonna probably catch that piece of grass on fire. Or not. So we got the eye, which is pretty amazing. Um, we can make the eyebrella now. Which is gonna be good for winter. Or not winter, spring. Let's eat that. And get- oh, hi Chester! Throw that up there because I don't want that to accidentally get eaten. Put you over there. Put you there, put you there. You go here. I'm actually gonna put the eye down there so I don't accidentally click on it. Health is really, really low, but it shouldn't be a problem if we go and make some pierogies and uh, whatnot. But yeah, there's our deer clops fight. Wasn't the cleanest. Um, they are pretty easy, it's just, you really gotta, just, it's all about timing and being patient. I was in a sticky situation there where I almost froze to death and I had to deal with two terror beaks. But, like I said, if you're patient enough, things will come back around sooner or later. So, like, instead of trying to, like, you know, take on the two terror beaks plus deer clops, I just, I waited out the terror beaks until they despawned, or at least one of them did so I could take out one. Um, 
I tanked the curling horror and deer clubs because deer clubs you can actually tank pretty well if you're standing next to a campfire. Um, yeah, I, deer clubs is probably one of the only tanks you should, or not tanks, one of the only giants you should tank. Um, as you know, Berger will knock a weapon out of your hand, and uh, what else? Moosey hits. Moosey hits pretty hard. I'm getting frame drops. I'm sorry if you're seeing this. Don't start like to freak out when you go insane and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm, my frames are dropping pretty bad. I know in episode eight, I believe towards the end there was a big ugly la lagged frame rate thing. Um, I didn't realize that happened until the end. I wasn't feeling anything, so it must have just been something in my recording that did that. But it ended after a couple minutes, like a minute or two. Uh, but yeah, pretty exciting episode. We had deer clops, we had the hound, we got our pet hound over there, which we got a name. Uh, somebody come up with a name. Whatever the best name is, we'll call him that. He's an ice hound. And he's blue, which is pretty nice. What else have we did today? We, oh yeah, we got our walking cane, and we got our tam, which is pretty nice. Um, again, I did spawn this one in, but I did leave the ingredients on the ground over there, so... If you still consider this cheating, I will get rid of this walking cane and craft it with my bare hands, but like I said before, the only reason I do it like this is because in all my time of playing, don't starve. I've never created. I've never actually crafted one before. I've always found the set piece. Like, I've always either found the set piece or, um, like I said, somebody else crafted it for me and don't starve together. And I've never actually done it myself. So, that's the only reason I do it to this day. And I've always been doing it like that. And again, to keep it fair, I throw away the ingredients used to make it. Which I will show once again when we get there. Because I don't think I did that. But yeah, five number fuel. Pretty pretty good. That is one dark sword, actually. If we start making our way to dark swords, and I am still getting frame issues because of uh, don't start being weird with going insane and whatnot. So yeah. Um hopefully it doesn't look too bad in the video. I'm definitely feeling it right now, 25, 30-ish frames. Um, because of that, I think I'm going to end the episode early again. Um, I don't want the episodes to look ugly like this. So, yeah. Let's just light this real quick. Ooh, it's so bad right now. I feel it, I feel it. And it's not, it's not like, just my computer, it's... I don't want to say Don't Starve is like a not an optimized game, but it's like the whole shipwreck dealio just turns everything wonky, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, there's our pet Ice Hound over there. Um, give him a name, I guess, so we can name him. There was our Deer Clops kill for the winter. Uh, we got our Tam, blah blah blah. I don't even think we got our Tam this episode. We got our Walking King this episode. But yeah, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye!